Hi everybody, it's Dina, and I'm back with another video. And I am here to show you my finished bag o' day pattern of the week and to tell you what I'm going to be doing next for the um, bag o' pattern of the week. So um, thank you for being here. If you're new, what I do to support Crystal from bag o' day um, is every week I purchase one of her patterns. I either have it on the thumb drive or I purchase it from Etsy. Um, whatever pattern I pick, I'm sure to watch the video from start to finish. And by doing those two things, I'm supporting her by purchasing the pattern and watching her video. And then I showcase it to you guys to show you the pattern, um, to give you my thoughts on it and let you know what's out there and if you want to do it with me. So then that's another way I'm supporting her or trying to support her um, by giving, you know, by encouraging people to get her pattern. So that's what this is and this week's pattern was the unisex beanie hat a shooting star crochet pattern it says this is it and it, i love patterns like this for hats this is the kind of patterns that are worked in a rectangle they're not worked in a that's so funny bag of day life vlog just came up a notification so um also watch her vlog her life ch channel bod life is the best channel. I love watching her. Anyway, segue. So I love these hat patterns um, that are worked as a rectangle and you're doing it in a back loop. It gives a really, I like the look of it, but it's a very comfortable hat. So I made a few of them. Let me see if I could show you. Okay. So I made one using Big Twist Freelance. I got a bunch of this um, from Cyber Monday when it was on sale. This is what I have left from the cake. It's a size four. You get 206 yards, 5.3 ounces, 188 meters or 150 grams per cake. It's 100% premium acrylic. And this colorway is color green multi, no, color green brown multi. Um, so I used, you know, quite a bit of it. There's a little left, not enough to do two hats. So let me show you that one. This is how it worked up. It's nice. I mean, lots of hard breaks and stuff. Um, I like the yarn. I'm not in love with it, but I like it. It was okay. And I got these fur pom-poms from Amazon, and I like these because they have the um, loop that you just see it's like an elastic and I just wrap it around a button so then you could remove it and wash the hat or just remove it and then wear the hat without it and the button's still there so you could just put it back on and I kind of like this hat um, without it to be honest um, now I'll try it on but I look really bad in hats especially because of my glasses I like it. They're so comfortable, these kind of hats. And you can make it a really big cuff if you want it really close to your head. But I really like this pattern. This pattern's a little different than the typical. I'm not, I won't tell you. It's just a little different. Different. It's not just a uh, double crochet back loop. So you got to get the pattern to see what it is. But this is the one I did. Then I did a little one for a little boy. I have an old neighbor of mine who um, just had a birthday and I made this for him. And this I held two colors, two strands together because I was trying to use up yarn that I got from a grab bag. So what I did was I had a double knit um, snuggly, it's called. And that was a size, oh, double knit. It was a DK. That was, how many, how many yards did I have of that? Um, it's a 50 gram ball 
approximately 170 meters, 191 yards. Um, and then I had a Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Sapphire Heather. And this is a size four and um, it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. And I had 110 yards of that. So neither one was enough individually to do it. So I thought if I held them together, it would make it thicker. Um, but I could still only make a kid size, which is fine. So that's this one. Came out nice. And so that used up that yarn. And then I wanted to use up, oh, where they go? I can't find those ball bands. And those were the ones I had saved forever. Well, it was two yarns. It One of them was um, Woolies, but a very old, old Woolies from Lion Brand. And then the other one I'm, I'm not remembered. But um, I didn't have enough of either one to make the hat, so I striped it. And that's how this came out. And then I made a pom-pom pom -pom with a giant pom-pom maker that I have. And I like the way this came out. And I did do a um, border on this because for some reason, because, well, the yarn weights, um, they were different yarn weights. This was a five and this was a four. So it, it made the edging very uneven. So I just did two rows of single crochet just to make it better. So that's it. I did those three hats and then I started another one, but I wanted to post this today and I'm definitely going to finish it. This was a yarn that I purchased from Lion Bran um, just to try it. It feels like bliss. It's a new yarn. It's, um, what's it made out of? 100% nylon. You get 109 yards, 100 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams per ball. Uh, this color is silver and it is so soft. It's almost like working with fur and it's so far, it's really not too difficult to work into, but look at that. This is so soft and oh, it's gorgeous. And I'm not having a hard time finding the stitches or anything. It It's just incredible. It feels softer than cashmere. It feels silky, but soft and squishy. And I really love it. And I love that color. So I'm going to finish this. And when I do, I'll show it to you in another video. Like I'll just pop it in. But, and it's really very, very stretchy. Very, um, I mean, it's not stretchy, stretchy this way, but it's more stretchy than anything else um, I've made with this hat pattern. But isn't that pretty? I make beautiful trim too. So I'm going to finish this today. And that is my finished bag o' day pattern of the week. So that's week one, because I'm starting over for 2022. So I will have this pattern linked down below. So if you're interested, check it out. Go support Crystal and go purchase her pattern on her Etsy shop. I will have this link down below. And if you do, even though it's a really simple pattern, watch her video from beginning to end. Even if you just have it on in the background, it's the best way to support her channel. And I can't stress enough the beginning to end part. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this here and I'll show you what I plan on making next week. I print, oh, here it is. Uh, this is called the Easy Crochet Summer Scarf Pattern. And it, you could wear this in the winter, but I, love that it has the built-in v it's kind of open it's a pretty scarf it can use you can use it as decorative or if it's not too too cold out and the yarn i'm going to be using is this beautiful crystal cake i love those colors and i've been dying to work with it so i thought i'd try it with this because she used um a medium for is this a medium for yeah um she used the lion brand merino yak alpaca um she used three skeins of that um and they were 126 yards each so you, she used 350 yards and this is um i think this is a lot 634 so can't make two but 
Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Maybe I can make a matching hat with it when I'm done. Okay, so that's going to be the pattern next week. I will also link this down below in this video in case you want to make it along with me. Um, and I will show you that finished project next Friday. All right, so that's really it for this video. Um, let's see, is there anything else I wanted to tell you guys? We did have some snow here in Connecticut last night, so my kids had a snow day. Today was their, this week was the first week back to school after Christmas break. And they went back Monday, well, except my older son, but that's another story. But the, all the kids went back Monday, they went back Tuesday. Wednesday was an ice storm, so the schools were closed. Thursday was a scheduled half day. And then today there was a snow day. So really they only went to school two and a half days. I think that's a good way to ease back into it. So, so it's a nice long weekend for them, which I'm happy about, because that means it's a long weekend for me, because the stress of nagging to get up, get ready, do homework. So that's good. Um, let's see, what's gonna be up next? I am working on a scarf that I will be showing you hopefully on Sunday. And it's with um, yarn I got from the Advent Box, from the Hobie Advent Box. I'm not doing their pattern. I'm gonna be doing another pattern with the yarn because I really like the yarn, but I didn't like their pattern. So look for that on Sunday. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys are doing great and I will see you in my next video. Bye.